So Jakina here reporting for duty and today we're bringing a new game to the channel called Atomic Society. Atomic Society is a post-apocalyptic town building game where you set the laws. I just read that right there. It's, it was like, I was like, that's great, I gotta read that. But anyways, Atomic Society is a currently in development game. It has not been released on Steam yet. However, it will we be releasing on Steam in the future. It is currently available for purchase on the website of the game if you want to go ahead and back the game. Um, I backed the 20, I got the special edition for 20 bucks, Norm, the other one is 15. Uh, 20, I went for the 20 because, uh, you get to add in two names into the game. I already have one name that I want to add, which is going to be, uh, Chris Kenai. I'm going to add that in, hopefully that'll work, um, because last, there's plenty of weird last names out there. They want realistic names, so we'll see. Um, but uh, anybody else who has an idea of what name they want to add to the game, um, for my second name, because I have no idea what it wants to be, go ahead. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump onto the game and create a new settlement. Alright, decades have passed since the bombs fell. You were young when the war started, the child of a high-ranking politician. Your family were fortunate enough to survive in a government bunker. In the many years that followed, the authorities raised you to be a leader. One day you were told you would go back to the surface and rebuild civilization from the ashes. That day has come. Radi radiation levels have fallen to safe thresholds. A team of trained engineers readies themselves to go with you. Your mission, form a settlement with population large enough for viable, genetically diverse breeding, the first town of a reborn nation. You will no doubt attract desperate survivors wary of life in the harsh wilderness. With nowhere else to turn, they will be clinging to you for safety, wisdom, and guidance. But can they trust you? Can they trust you? Um, I don't know. So, but anyways, um, I guess for now, I'm going to be Chris Kenai. All right. You know, I think that because my first name's Chris, obviously. Um, but, uh, Kenai, this will be his first, maybe, maybe, you know, he starts his own town at first as a politician and, uh, eventually, uh, fails. So then he's, he's off on his own. Anyways, um, we want to go with male, male model. Oh, that sick beard, my dude. This look that sick. Be you know, you you really grow a beard when you're underground. It, it comes out really nice. Uh, how many? So you're gonna have a beard option. I I assume more character creation options will come in, in the future. But um, yeah, that's that's fine. What kind of kind of shirt colors we got here? We got any blues? No, no blues. I'll go with the red shirt then, cause you never know when you're bleeding. Um, and then, <laughs> well, this looks like I'm wearing pajamas. Um, you know, at least my guy's got a nice sack, all right? That's, that's what we got going for him. And I'm going to go for the same age as me, 23. And, you know, so I'm already putting myself at a disadvantage because nobody likes you when you're 23. Um, anyways, I think we're good to go, and we're going to go ahead and start. Ooh, there's lots of places to start. Huh. Hmm. Ah. Uh. See, this looks like it's floating. It looks like there's some water over there. Um, this looks difficult. This one doesn't look like there's much water at all. Looks like it was vastly ravaged by the um, nukes. This looks like some kind of oh wasteland. Yeah, it is. After leaving your bunker, you travel secluded a rocky desert, picking up a few survivors along the way. There is an eerie calm in here and chance a new start. Canyon. Escaping week-long storms, the ravages the country, you lead a group of survivors through a deep, isolated canyon. Seems sheltered, contains a few ruins from uh, operating. Yeah, deep river that divides the land in two. Uh, it's spacious, blasted rock. Nature has started to reclaim this region. Trees choke the irradiated soil as a howling wind sweep across the poisonous lakes. Oh, but at least not everything in this country has turned to ash. What about this one? Nuclear explosions cause fault lines, ruptures. Hundreds of miles away, causing water levels to rise, this area was completely cut off and has formed into islands and castaways. And causeaways. Huh. I mean, these are, these are nuclear winters over here. Uh, hoping bandits will flee for warmer climates. You prepare to settle. Snowfield. Uh, mainland is too dangerous. You know, I think, I think I'm going, I'm going for the dunes. The dunes. I think I'm going to go for the dunes here. It sounds, it sounds pretty good, you know. The dunes, maybe we can get like that's a lot of people. All right, um, pause, let's pause the game. That's a lot of people in the beginning. I didn't think we would start with this many people. That's like 30 people at least, I would think. 
Welcome to the Atomic Society. This tutorial will explain how to build your first town and set your first law. Click on the orange arrow to the right of this, the text box, to proceed with the next help message. Alright. At the start of the new game, you will be in an overview mode. This allows you to get a higher look at the area. Hold down the right mouse button to look around. Hmm. Was that a gas station? Oh, yes, that is a gas station. Some street lights, a little bit of trees around. What do we got over here? Alright, some a nice water. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Alright, alright. We got some we got some things over here. We got some things. Um, what about over in this direction? I think right honestly, probably right here would be the best. Not far from whatever that stuff is, not far from the water and the houses that are down there. Probably pretty good. And it can zoom in and out. Alright. Let's go to the next one. You can move with W. I already figured that out, my dude. I'm the best. Um, now let's enter a team leader mode. Take control of your town leader by clicking the circular icon in the bottom right of the screen. Alright. Uh, or by pressing the space bar, this will lock the camera towards your town leader. Boom, right there. Um, then you can now move the town leader with Wazda. Uh, or by left clicking your mouse freely. Okay, okay. Everybody follow me! We're going over here, alright. Uh, your town leader will be used to do optional tasks uh, in the town and explore, we shall see. Alright, let's go ahead and pause the game for now, again. First of all, let's uh, choose where we found your town. To do this, you must convert one large, one large building ruins on the landscape to a storehouse. Press down the space to unlock the camera from your town leader and return to overview mode. Um, just toggle overview mode. There, huh? There we go. I think it's because I was paused. It's like it's very similar. So we have to turn one of these into a storehouse because this is a large ruin, right? I would assume this is a large ruin. Right-click the ruin, convert to storehouse. Is this all things? This is oh, so any can I convert any ruin to a storehouse? Like can I convert this ruin to a storehouse? Um ruins like this can be converted into storehouse or torment, leave all resources in the building and will not require any building supplies to convert. Salvage some materials and the building will gradually become expensive to convert. So if we convert it now, It'll cost us nothing, and we get everything that's in there. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this one then. Um, we will just, we'll start, the, we'll put, leave it on slow for now. Some people should go over there and start constructing. Uh, we'll move my, uh, my dude over there. So he'll move over there. Alright, so that's converted to storehouse. Ignore the construction menu that pops up, right click anywhere on the ground to close it. It'll now be a group of four. So four of them will set off, yeah. These four are your engineers. Engineers were only citizens that can build at the moment, but you can train later. While you are going off to convert that ruin, let's use a spare time to gather supplies. To make any building in Atomic Society, you will need three types of material. Rubble, scrap metal, and wood. The only way to gather these is to scavenge the various ruins around the map. Note that not all ruins contain three resources. You won't find wood in vehicles, for example. Uh huh. Later on, you will employ citizens to gather these supplies for you, but right now, let's gather some in person. Go to the town leader mode. Left click any of these ruins, vehicles, or man made objects you see around you, and salvage it. Alright, so we'll go to, go to leader mode, and we will click on. Wait, is this it? it said to go to leader mode, right? Uh huh, short go. Left click on any. So that, that I can't that's not that I can't salvage that then. Can I salvage this? It's weird that you can't salvage this tree. I thought for sure you'd be able to. Oh well. Um click salvage that. Go salvage that. And it'll pop up, click this. Your town leader will now automatically go off and loot that ruin. You can spend it, speed up the process by using the time plus and minuses. Um So how long will that take? It'll just take time. Yeah, slots used, right? I mean, I, I assume his his inventory will fill up, and then, like, it'll have to be put into that storeroom. Um, anyways, try speeding up the time and keep your looting or exploring until engineers have finished converting your storehouse. This may, yeah, inventory full, so... Mm-hmm. See what you're doing? Enter a name in for your new settlement and... 
for your when the naming pops up. I assume that the settlement. Why has nobody come over here? Oh, they're slow as fuck. Get your asses over here. Let's go, bros. We got the places to build. What are you doing? Somebody, we need this storehouse. It seems to be converted into a storehouse. You mofos, let's go. Yeah, there you go. This thing needs to start getting built up. There we go. A nice, fantastic storehouse. All right, name of my town. The Squadron. The Squadron. That's that's what this town will be called. This, this, the Waldron is what it will be called. No, the Squadron. Squad, uh, Aran? Squ the Squad... Fuck. When you forget how to spell words. Uh... Uh... Uh, where the phone unlocked, please. I, I'm pretty sure I'm spelling it right. It's just you know when you when you put a word in, and you're like, that's how you spell it. But and then you then you look at it some more, and you're like, oh okay, there's no additional a. It's just R O N at the end. Okay. Oh God, my hands are in the wrong spot. Squad Iran. Squ Come on, squadron. There we go. Uh, the squadron has been founded. All right, now that you have a storehouse, you can deposit items on your town leader. Just savage. To do this, left-click the new storehouse and click the round icon. Accept to deposit all resources. Um, is there a way? I wish there was a faster way to deposit this. I'm sure... Oh, wait. Isn't it say, like, the plus or minus buttons can do that? Hold on. It was, like, something about speeding up. I remember. Oh, plus and minuses. Okay, I got... Okay. Alright, I need to then on the numpad. Okay, I could do that. It just um I I, I thought for a second, because I used to have my plus and minus keys, uh my start and stop buttons for my recording program, since I've had to change that because that issue has popped up in other games before. Anyways, um yes. You okay, now you have your first store has you can create a band of new structures to do so. Click on the hammer button. Right down there. This will bring up a list available. Explore the structures that are available in this version. And when ready, continue to the next step. Alright, let's look at it. So we got uh, Offensive, which is not available. So there are some features that are still being made. Obviously, this is a pre-alpha version of the game. The very beginning, if you didn't see. Uh, Livestock Ranch. Planted Tree. I feel like trees cannot play a structure. When okay, I feel like trees are probably a good idea to get started. So, choose the scavenger hunt. Oh. <laughs> Should have chose the scavenger hunt. Uh, where's the scavenger hunt? Uh, it's the... Which is in the functional one. Functional scavenger's hunt. Boom. Got him. Scavenger's hunt. Put that up. Before placing it, you can... Ro I don't care about rotating it. It's fine the way it was. Uh, try placing the game... Try pla Try and place it when the building is red, and it'll explain you cannot. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand that. Basic stuff. Once placed, engineers will go and create the structure. Um, you can speed up the process, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. To do this, left-click the circular construction present, or just press the orange help construct. Wait, what? Help construct this... Oh, I can send my, my leader over there to help them out. Oh, okay. I could just have my leader be like, hey, bro, I'm going to help you. Hold on. Let me move him over here. Have him help and go back to overview mode. So my leader could be like, I'm there for you, bro. Chris Keenai is here. All right. Um, to do this, left circular. Da -da -da. But then this will automatically put you in the town leader mode and your leader will go off to help to speed up the process. Okay. When the scavenger hut is finished and built, right click in and open the employees tab and click on the round person and click employ workers. Okay. Uh, so we want to employ workers. Tick to automatically employ workers. Yes, go to work, mofos. All right. Uh, the amount of staff will go to the structure. Citizens will now go over and start working at the scavenger's hut. Scavenger's hut automatically search the surrounding area for vital new building materials, in addition to food and water. On top of the employees tab, you will also have a spotted button with a padlock icon. You click these to fire the workers if you do not need the maximum number of workers. Firing, eh? So I can just be like, get the fuck out if I wanted to. Okay. So they're all they're all off doing their scavenging thing. We'll speed it up a little bit more. Yeah, you will soon have a basic income of resources. Uh new la la la. 
You can focus on other needs of your survival. New migrants will be arriving to your town and they will have needs too. In the bottom of the left of the screen, you can also see an average readout of all the needs of the people. Five orange bars. Yeah, I see that. If you right click on a citizen, you can also gain more information about their issues and problems. Try this now. Alright, um. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Some dudes have already died? Who's this? Who, why are these just Ned fools out on the floor? What happened? Alright, uh, it said I could right click people and see their needs, right? Um, unemployed, the citizen hasn't been given a job and is becoming agitated. They are more likely to enact social issues. Homeless, there's insufficient housing for the citizen. So, yeah, we we'll probably should build some houses. Another great way to see where your town is to check the news tab. You will see the news. You'll see this above the five needs. Um, oh, a bunch of people oh, died from diarrhea, died from old age, died from old age. Um, William Rogers died from potentially fatal diarrhea. 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 Okay. So mainly people dying from diarrhea. All right. Lots of people. Lots of oh has potentially fatal diarrhea. Okay, and then they die from their diarrhea. Fuck, a lot of people are getting diarrhea. That seems like a pr a problem. <laughs> um. Okay, so that's a way of news. You could put it back with dragon in the middle of this. Oh, I can just remove this. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, can I reattach it? I cannot. Well, we're just going to have news separate then. thought I could reattach it. That is not the case. All right. Um, your citizens need food, water, and a place to sleep, medical aid, and will boost their morale. And a place, yeah, and a place to boost their morale. And blah, 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 more building stuff. You'll find buildings that can provide all of these needs. Let's place down a town hall structure first. Social plus ethical category. Gravel icon. No, if your engineers die, you will need to help the builder. You will need to. You should help build a builder's yards and employ citizens to build it for you. Okay, so it was in the social and ethical uh, town hall. If we have. Uh, we cannot do that on speed zero. We will grab the town hall and we will shall place this town hall um, over here on the high point. So that they can overlook all the important structures of the land. So many dead people from diarrhea. Are people coming over here? Okay. Just making sure. Uh, speed that shit up. Get over there and help, please. Uh-huh. So we'll do that. Billy Town Hall. Remember, you can help construct with your leader. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, click on and hire staff just like you did for the scavenger, and then they will act as enforcers and deal with potential criminals. Oh, oh, is that so? Potential criminals, you say? A uh, bunch of people still catching diarrheas. Bunch of people still catching diarrhea. Where's the plus and minus button on here again? Oh, okay. Go back to to one time. Oh, get off my dude. I don't. My town dude can go do whatever he wants. Alright, um, this is much faster just to click the button. I wish I could use the number keys. More people dying from diarrhea? Died from because low level basic needs. Uh, someone's no longer feeling suicidal though, you know, you got that going for them. Alright, um... Oh, right, let's right click it first and hire people. Alright. Okay. Now that you've hired staff for the town hall, left click it to bring up the menu. Um, the issues tab shows a list of potential social issues in your town. These issues can be dealt with citizens enact with if wait it can issues be dealt these issues can be dealt with if citizens enact them. Speed up time and keep playing until one of the issues occur. The exclamation point will appear above the town hall and it, when it has this might take a while, but it's different for every town, so proceed with the tutorial when ready. Alright. Um, so all of these are locked, right? So, I mean, I guess the only thing that's going to be coming up probably is murder. Citizens are killing each other and getting away with. So, I mean, keep playing until an issue occurs, then return to this list of issues and click the one that is now active. Uh -huh. uh, there are six solutions for every issue. You will see if the left... I'm going to build some stuff while I'm waiting. Uh, we don't got scrap metal. Scrap metal would probably be a good thing to get. Uh, enter town leader mode and salvage this material. We're going to salvage that material over there. And then we're going to go... Hold on. Bro. What'd you... Bro. Go scavenge. 
Salvage complete. Are you gonna go do it? Help construct. No, 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 no. I don't want to construct. Fuck. How do I? Can I cancel that? Oh shit! I did not mean to construct this into a um, what you call it, and I don't think I can. It can stop that. Oh well. I mean, I'm sure we would have needed one eventually, anyways. So it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Oh well. I think we'll still get scrap metal though from it if we convert it. Like we'll get all of the material. However, if we salvage from it, we'll need to return material to it to be able to use it. So hopefully that doesn't doesn't screw us over in some bit. How long until somebody murders somebody? Hmm? Prostitution, racism, slavery. Slavers are capturing the unemployed and forcing them to work. Oh, an issue is uh murder. So let's see. Let's just pause for a moment. Citizens are killing each other and getting away with it. Solution execution shows zero tolerance for those who perpetrate this issue. Um, Results show your contempt by ordering the enforcers of the town hall to arrest anybody who does this and take them into the punishment center. With upon the people will be hung by the neck until dead. This naturally prevents the person from repeating the action ever again and also makes them less likely they will ever consider committing this deed. Side effect: wrongfully accused. No justice system is perfect. If you enact this sentence, there is a small chance. Innocent citizens will be found guilty of this crime and executed. You will be told when the in innocent is slain. More items will implead this solution. The more often this problem will happen. Encourage. Kill people. Yes. <laughs> um, long prison. Yeah, yeah. They arrest them. Side effect coming soon. So this currently doesn't. Oh, I can't. I don't think I can do that one. Can I? Oh, I don't have a prison, so I have to... I don't have a punishment center. Oh, shit. I have to make a punishment center to be able to do that. All right, well, let's go up to one-time speed. We'll build ourselves a punishment center. Where is that located at? Probably... Yeah. Punishment center? Right over here, away from the most of the places. Seems pretty good. Pretty... I don't want it to be next to stuff, you know? You understand? It shouldn't be next to things, because if it's next to everything, then, you know, we have a problem, right? We have a big problem. Yeah, I did not want to freaking change this. Oh, we changed this into a house? Oh. I mean, I guess. It gives us a house, it gives us a house. Bro, I need to build stuff first before I can... I mean, I could just encourage him. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the execution. Just to see, for the first time, you know, just to see what happens. Yeah, get over there. We have people dying. All right, we need your build. How many builders do I have now? Is that all of them? How many are coming over? Oh, some one of them already made it over here. Great. Okay, so we still have four builders. That's fantastic. Once these guys get over here, though, it'll be super fast in building it, which will be great. It'll get done real fast, and we'll freaking hang that dude. You know, murder should not is not okay. All right, it's not okay. It's not okay. Storehouses, all storehouses are going to build or convert one. Oh, shit. Um, you know, I'll do that in a moment, bro. I'll do that in a moment. So, yeah, let's take care of this, bro, over here. And, uh, execution. Uh, necessary employees at work. Someone has to get hired over here. Employees. Employ the workers. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who'd you see that guy's name right there? Brett Pedersen. Very close to my name. And get judged. Murder execution resolved. All right. Keep pressing the escape um, to close the town hall interface and build a punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then hire workers for that. I just did that. Now you have built the required buildings for working. Click the solution. You, I ju just did that as well. Now you've picked the solution. Write your town to watch the status of the employees there. Uh, to enforcing mode, arrest anybody who can pitch that deed and take them to the appropriate building. This may take some time depending on your people. So carry on when ready. So are they still... Oh yeah, I gotta build the uh, another storehouse. Or a conversion, but I think I'm just gonna build one. Because I don't think there's any that are nearby. Uh, crematory. That's probably storehouse. Uh, we do not have scrap metal. So we would have to convert something into a storehouse which there's not oh we can do this into it no that's that we built that ourselves well baloney scavenge that manually no i said 
Scav scavenge manually. Bro. There you go, do that. I know all of our storehouses are full, but there's really not a lot I can do about that right now, okay? Lots of people were caught the plague from a corpse. Mm. We probably need like graveyards or something. Probably would be a good idea. Has this is this been getting done yet? Have people like at work, at work, going to work? What about over here? At work, at work. I think it's we're all good. Uh, congratulations, you completed the pre-alpha tutorial. It's all up to you. Uh, when ready, click the I button at the top left corner to close this tutorial. I'm good. Let's, I think I'm good now. Um, well, it's been quite a lot of time. We are going to pause the game temporarily because we have obviously have some problems with storage. Uh, we need to create a storage center, all of which is very far away, and we do not have available scrap metal currently. Uh, leader mode. All storages are full. Uh, freaking baloney, man. We need scrap metal. I think we're just going to have to convert a different building. I can, like, because he's not going to be able to deposit this, right? Maybe if he has the material on him, we'll be able to build it? I don't think so, though. Yeah, he'll let, let him do that. We can try. Storehouse. No. This, this stuff needs to be deposited. Yeah, I need to convert one. Frick, man. Frickity frick. Alright, well, this needs to be converted into a... Converted into a storehouse. That's our only option, and it's way down there, but there's not a... I mean, we kind of we kind of messed up a little bit. We should have done that way earlier. Um, and you know what? I think we should just probably, probably go ahead and end the episode here for to now, because by the time that gets done, it's going to be a while from now, and we've already had a lot of people die, so what we'll probably end up doing, to be 100% honest, is next episode starting over, and doing things right. The same the same map and everything, but we're going to be starting over for sure. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with many more Atomic Society to come. I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.